Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm at Dreamworld this morning. We're gonna have a look at the steel tie pan, see how they're going with that. This will probably be the last update before opening day because I reckon that's only maybe four to six weeks away and she'll be open. They're also removing the buzz saw. Uh, not sure if that's been sold or not, but it's disappearing. So we'll we'll turn the camera around and have a look at the buzz saw from out here. Don't know how close I can get to it from inside, but we'll have a look when the park opens. All right, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll go inside and no we won't, we'll turn it around and have a look. You can see they're up there at the moment unbolting a section. Um, I don't know how long it'll be before they lift that one down. I'm gonna be here for a little while yet, but you can see just over the road there in front of me is a big section from up the top. And then you've got parts of the tracks over there. It's coming down real quick. You can see the train still inside there on the tracks. They've taken down the external wall. Uh, it won't be long and it'll be gone and you'll get a nice uninterrupted view of the steel tie pan. So just in front of me you can see the track there. That is uh, the top part of the coaster. Not sure if this has been sold already or whether they're just getting rid of it for the opening of the steel tie pan. Won't take them very long to get it down at all. I would think maybe two weeks and it'll be all gone. Monstrous cranes they've got there holding it up while they're unbolting it. They are huge. They're pretty massive chunks of steel, so it would be really heavy lifting that up. From where I'm standing up here, you can see, looking around, that everything appears to be complete. Uh, they're in there at the moment, tightening up all the bolts, checking to make sure they're all still nice and tight. You can see that in there, so there'll be no testing again today. Swing around a little bit more. They're up the top there dismantling the buzz saw, which we would have seen from the car park. That section there has been about two hours. They've been working on it and still they haven't removed it. Uh, I said it was gonna be a fairly quick process, but after watching this, I don't think it is. I think it's gonna take quite some time to get rid of it all. As you walk up the ramp to load the steel tie pan, you can just see in there, there's a test chair. So if you're not sure if you're gonna fit or not before you get to the front, you can pop yourself in that chair and, and check it out to see if you can fit. The stenciling's all finished on the concrete now. Sign's all done. The fake grass is all down and the trees are all planted. Looking really nice. We're just waiting now for Dreamworld to say, uh, launch it. Hopefully, it won't be too much longer. It's all looking uh, quite splendid now, isn't it? Like I keep saying, I can't wait to ride it, but I wish they'd just hurry up now and say, righto, it'll be open next week, so we can jump on. You want me to have my best guess at the opening date for the steel tie pan? That's it right there. 12th of December that's my that's my guess I'd put money on that the old buzzsaw general store the door is actually open today and we'll we'll have a quick peek inside you can see the old car and painting on the wall still you can see inside there the old car with the bullet holes in it the old streets of uh, New York mural on the wall really cool oh damn no coffee or white chocolate raspberry muffin today what a shame I wonder how long this is going to be out for I managed to find the muffins there at the uh, sandwich shop in the food court if I had have actually read the sign properly at the start of the day I would have seen that I could go to the uh, sandwich shop to get my coffee and muffin Anyhow, I found it. So the train is meant to be back around Christmas time. Um, 
but there's still no work being done on the tracks. Like I'm assuming that they've moved the, or closed that path there and opened the new one so they can do the tracks for the train, but they still haven't started yet. As you can see this way into the old launch tunnel of the Tower of Terror, uh, the train tracks are still covered, so absolutely nothing has started with that yet. Something I haven't seen open before in the, uh, in the DreamWorks area is, is this little game shop here. You can pop the balloons, one dart for five dollars, three for ten, seven for twenty. And then you've got the old fish there that you can catch, win a prize, five dollars a game. The piece of the buzzsaw is finally down. Took them about three hours to get that one piece off. Uh, and that's what I saw. I don't know what happened before I got here, but if it's three hours for one piece, it's going to be quite some time to get the whole lot down. All right, guys, that's all I got time for today. Uh, time to head home. It's starting to rain. Uh, don't particularly want to get wet. Hope you enjoyed a look at that. Like I said at the start, this is probably going to be our last update on the steel tie pan until we get an opening date. The buzz saw is coming down, which will give you an uninterrupted view of the steel tie pan, their main attraction. Don't know how long that will take, but it's well and truly underway. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you next week from somewhere else. Hooroo.